Okay, so welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the jugular venous pulsations, that is the JVP, and the carotid artery pulsations. Okay, so we will be distinguishing different points that uh, how to distinguish uh, between JVP and the carotid artery pulsations. So the first point here is that on inspection, the JVP goes inside. So it goes in. You can see here in this video, the arrow mark shows that on inspection like the JVP is going in towards inward direction okay this doesn't happens with the carotid arteries okay so the JVP goes in now uh, when we look at this car carotid artery pulsations here the carotid uh, artery only goes outside it doesn't goes inside you can see like as comparison to the JVP the carotid arteries only goes out This JVP is associated with posture and respiration. For suppose, like if the uh, patient is lying in the supine position, the JVP increases, and in the upright position, the JVP decreases. Okay, and in uh, respiration also, the JVP like there is an variation. And here comes the carotid artery. There are no changes with posture and respiration. Now. This increases, JVP increases with abdominal pressure. This is very much important. But when we compare this with the carotid artery pulsations, there is no change which is uh, seen with abdominal pressure. Now, this JVP is baby less forceful, better seen, and it has two upstrokes per beat. This is very much important. It has two upstrokes per beat. Now, whereas the carotid artery is concerned, this is better felt, this is more forceful and this has one upstroke per, per beat. I hope that this video was helpful. Okay, thanks for watching guys.